Have you ever felt manipulated? Let's dive into what manipulation is. Manipulation is a subtle psychological strategy used by individuals to change others' behaviors or perceptions through deceptive or abusive tactics. It is a prominent characteristic of dark psychology, which studies manipulative, deceptive, and coercive tactics used by individuals to control others. This aspect may be a contributing factor to the mental distress experienced by many. People manipulate for various reasons. Some do it to gain control or power over others. They might use manipulation to get their way or to make others feel less confident. Others manipulate for personal benefit, exploiting others to get what they want. And then there are those who manipulate to evade responsibility, using it as a tool to shift blame or avoid consequences. Manipulation isn't confined to a specific context. It can occur in relationships where one partner uses emotional manipulation to control the other. It can happen at work where colleagues or superiors might manipulate to gain an upper hand. And it can take place in social situations where friends or acquaintances manipulate to influence group dynamics. Recognizing manipulation is the first step towards protecting oneself from its harmful effects. So what are the signs of manipulation? Well, let's dive right into it. First up, we have gaslighting. This is a psychological tactic where someone makes you question your own reality or sanity. They might deny things that have happened or distort facts to suit their narrative. It's like being in a maze with shifting walls. Next, guilt tripping is another common sign. The manipulator might make you feel guilty for not meeting their expectations or for things that are not even your responsibility. Then there's constant lying. Manipulators often tell lies big and small to control the narrative and keep you off balance. Playing the victim is another sign to look out for. Manipulators might portray themselves as the victim no matter what the situation to gain sympathy and control. Lastly, silent treatment. This is a form of emotional manipulation where the manipulator withdraws communication to make you feel guilty or anxious. These signs are red flags that you may be dealing with a manipulator. Now that we've identified the signs, what can you do about it? It all comes down to three key actions, setting boundaries, seeking support, and practicing self-care. Recognizing manipulation is a critical first step, but it's equally important to enforce your limits. This means standing firm in your decisions and not allowing others to sway you against your will. Next, don't hesitate to seek support from trusted friends, family, or professionals. Sometimes an outside perspective can provide valuable insights and help you navigate tricky situations. Moreover, remember to take care of your mental well-being, engage in activities that bring you joy, boost your confidence, and help you maintain a positive outlook. Above all, trust your intuition. If something feels off it probably is don't be afraid to communicate your concerns. Assertive and effectively remember awareness is your strongest defense against manipulation. Stay informed, stay strong. If you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe for more interesting stuff. Thanks for watching.